Guys, literally look who just dropped off a plane from Australia down under. We're here with the amazing, the incredible Sheldon Riley. Sheldon, Thank nice to meet you so much for having me. Oh, welcome to London. Thank you. Is this your first time here? No, it's not. I have been here before. I spent a bit of time here back before COVID, but I'm so glad to be back. I just messaged my partner, actually. I was like, I want to move back to London. <laughs> Oh, we'd be happy to have you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so uh, you must be feeling a bit jet lagged and a bit knackered, I mean, but you've got this amazing show to do tonight. I do. But last night we saw you do a little surprise performance. I did uh, in London, which went down very well. How did it feel to be on kind of that really intimate stage? At two brewers. That place is so cute, by the way. I, I want to come back and sing there. It was good. I'm I'm so tired. I mean, a 30-hour flight is killing me, but I'm running on adrenaline. And I'm very happy to be here. I'm. I'm, I'm just, I want to be a part of it. The Australian Eurovision team said that I wasn't allowed to come to any of the pre-parties or fly at all just because of the amount of time that we have to get back to Australia to get my outfit. Re my outfit's really big, so we have a lot of, a lot of work to do, but um, I really pushed for it because I didn't want to miss this. So any performance I can do, I'm happy to be there. It doesn't matter how tired I am. Oh, well, I mean, you've got an army of fans, <laughs> oh, a new sorry. army of fans yeah. since you uh, won Australia Decide yeah. with this. I'm going to say, one of the most emotional performances that I've seen. It's Thank you. literally left me in tears. It Thank was incredible. You. Thank you. Um, how does it feel now to be in this like crazy Eurovision? Because it is, it's crazy. It is it? a little bit insane. This whole bubble. It's a little bit insane. I mean, Eurovision's been the biggest stream since I was a little kid. Since the biggest stream. And I've done a lot of different kind of reality TV shows. And while they were like, oh, wouldn't it be great to win The Voice or win this? And I'm like, I just want to get noticed enough so I can do Eurovision. I mean, I'm, in, I'm an independent artist and it's very hard to, I've never been with a record label, it's very hard to um, get Eurovision in Australia without the label and without the, the support because Eurovision is so big and my team is so small, but they know how much I want it and I've worked really, really hard. So I'm just so proud to be here. Even chatting with you, I'm very, very excited. Oh, we're very excited to be chatting <laughs> with you. It's been, a, it's, you know, we've been waiting a long time since oh. you won. It feels like a long time. It actually wasn't that long ago, I was it? It wasn't too long ago, but I haven't stopped ever since. I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> and d you won't be stopping until Turin, no, I have I to say. No, I don't plan on it, no. How, how are the preparations going for They're Turin? They're going well. They're going well. There's a lot of things to organise. The staging is... Ridiculous. I mean, Australia's staging is always very crazy. Um, do you remember Kate Miller Heike with the swing? Oh, we box? remember. <laughs> we're trying, and Dami with the sparkly box. We're, we're trying to live up to Australia's expectation of creating the most beautiful staging. So, it's, uh, with the outfit and the music, there, there's a lot to organise, but we're getting there. Oh, I can't wait to see the outfit. You said um, it's a, a big one. It's, it's, it's about 100 times bigger than the Australia Decides one. Oh, my so God. It's, it's, ridiculous it's really it's really crazy and i have to say i need one of these i need one of these i mean you look incredible today oh, thank you. Thank can you. we like make me one in a different color maybe where do i get one? do you want to try something on wait give me one give me one second i want to i want to i want to do this wait, really no way no way oh i can see an expensive looking box try these on because they're so exciting Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I would give them to you, but I only brought one pair. But here, try the, try these on. You might have to... Are they hanging right? Yeah, that's fine. It's not the first time I've asked that. I can only imagine. Swarovski yeah. crystal, they're pretty, right? There you go. Wow, oh, we have to get a selfie. <laughs> here we go. I'm going to finish the interview like this. Yeah. <laughs> How do I look, guys? Woo! <laughs> so we're very excited to see the outfit. I feel like I'm probably part of the Sheldon Riley team now. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> um, but obviously the preparations are going really well. Um, I would need to ask, what do you do to chill? Because this is a crazy bubble chill. that you're in now. I don't chill. <laughs> I don't. Would you binge I mean, Netflix I mean, or...? Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm watching the Gilmore Girls at the moment. It's kind of my highlight. Oh, I love Gilmore Girls. <laughs> don't we all? No, I, I, um, I like to read. I don't know. I don't. I don't really have all that much downtime anymore. But um, yeah, I'm really happy though. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't need to chill out. I'm. I'm. I don't ever want you this seem, to end. You seem really chill. You're just happy to be I'm having so this experience, aren't you? I mean, we were. I remember during COVID, I was. Um, locked up in our little area and I wasn't allowed to leave for a very long time so even though I'm exhausted I couldn't be happier standing here talking with all of you guys because it was a time where I couldn't so 
Well, we know you need to go and get ready for your show tonight now, but have you got a message for your fans before we go? Ah, I just want to say thank you so much. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, thank you so much for listening. I mean, competitor aside, I'm the, I'm the biggest fan of Eurovision. So what you guys do and everyone who's watching means the world to me because, you know, it was, only, it was only a year ago I was sitting watching everyone else's interviews being... Um, being obsessed with Barbara Provy from France and being like, oh my gosh, I want to do interviews. So, yeah. Sheldon, we love you. We can't wait to catch up with you again. Thank, Thank you so you. much for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me. See you guys. <laughs>